This is life. This is love. This is how I learned to trust. I was numb. I was blind. Then you opened up my eyes. to work and then there was no work so I came home <laughs> and so yeah so now we are going to spend some um, Thanksgiving <laughs> and I mean they are doing today I went to work and so then there Valentine's was no time so I get there so uh, <laughs> and so I'm still yeah so you now notice we are going to pretty much gone ten on this side it's just this little weird lump right here but some Valentine's time, time so together, yeah. so, uh, that's all good, that's all good. I'm still, it's if you good. notice, the swelling's pretty much yeah. gone so on this side, good. just this little oh. weird look. I like his stuff. Well, anyways, he's got a lot of stories about where he works. When he stopped working there, we'll show some. <laughs> We're back home in Ilo, and I decided to get a whiteboard. I got a 16 by 20. It's a pretty big one, and I got a thin one. Um, Alex mentioned something about like having a whiteboard to be able to write out our video ideas, so it'll be in our faces, and so we know when we record it. Which I thought that was a really good idea and I was like, we should probably do that. Because I typically write all my notes and stuff like that in my notebook. And that's great and everything. Like if you bullet journal them, that's awesome. But it's not in my face and so I forget about it or postpone it. So hopefully this will help. I got a pack of um, chiseled markers too. So um, they're magnetic so they should hopefully stay on there. Um, I was going to go cheaper but then I was like... I got cheaper, I'm gonna lose them, and I will now that we'll get into them and excuses, excuses, excuses. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Um now I'm just hanging out with grandpa downstairs right now. I'm gonna try to get this organized and see if I can do something fun for you guys on there. <laughs> hey guys, so as you can tell, uh, Nala was with me when I did the beginning of this uh, whiteboard little short version of how Alex and I met, but we're just going to go ahead and skip to basically middle school because that's when we really actually first met. We met um, through church 
and yeah I had moved into the area and my parents had known the pastors there uh, from back in the day so I started going to church with them but I was kind of all by myself at the time um, it's kind of one of those churches where you didn't really have a younger crowd and you were just kind of put into a room and kind of told what to do to be you, do you, boo boo. <laughs> and so all I would do is just listen to my iPod. Um, yeah. So four years older than Alex. Um, so we really kind of didn't really talk. Uh, mainly because he was a little kid in my eyes and he was really short. And he, the first time we ever talked, it was like, hi. And I was just like, didn't say anything. And I put my earbuds on. <laughs> in my ears and I was just like okay <laughs> so basically we had just kind of hung out in church only um, then as we got older we kind of started talking but we were just dis decent friends we didn't really talk to each other that much honestly we really didn't and like I said, uh, Alex to me, we were, he was just completely a friend. He was totally in the friend zone. <laughs> and I feel bad saying that, but honestly, Alex was so small and so young um, that I really honestly thought he was gay. But we skipped forward into a lot longer where I was in college for a couple of years. He, Alex got his life together in Jesus, which was really cool because all the ladies was digging the new Alex and they're like, yeah, he's more attractive now. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. But I still saw Alex as just a good friend, honestly. Um, he was still in the friend zone and I made that look like he was in jail, but that's not I was trying to make it look like he was in the friend zone. But then finally we took like a road trip to Boston. That's kind of like the pivot point where we got to know each other. We went to basically a event together where his friends got married and had invited them out of there and I got to take their pictures. Um, I'm still a little bitter about that because they never paid me for the pictures. So you live and you learn. Um, but... In the end, that kind of sparked not anything romantic or anything, but it just made him be like a lot closer to me. We started talking more. We talked as friends, honestly, as friends, as just good pals, especially now that we had stuff that was more in common, AKA Jesus. <laughs> So something that wasn't really as mentioned as much was like uh, during the Boston trip, Alex' current girlfriend at the time broke up with him. And so I remember him telling, like, because it wasn't just me and him that were on the trip. That, sh that would be shady. But there was a couple of us, um, a couple of close friends and stuff, and I remember him telling us that his girlfriend kind of broke up with him and we're like whoa so then finally skip forward to like coming back from the road trip we did a lot more things together we were doing more ministry we're doing more events we're going out praying more being involved with other churches in the local community and just being there and so that kind of kind of started confusing me because a lot of people started saying things and I was at the point where I was like no guys ever like I'm I'm done I'm done with guys because I'm done looking for guys and so then I was like we need to talk and Alex was like what what could that possibly mean and so I basically said hey we need to talk and so we went to Starbucks and um, we talked we basically talked about being friends and kind of like the future in general and what direction he was gonna do with his life and um, that all led to like let's pray let's fast um, and so what many people don't really know about our relationship is that weeks and months kind of went by a fasting and we really wanted to make sure that we were gonna not mess up what we already have because we were just good friends and um, I had done that previously so I really wanted to make sure so finally got our confirmations and then on November 4th of 2019 
2014 got together <laughs> we started dating that day um so yeah we started dating then and um that's kind of how we started really talking and kind of just hanging out and i had never thought that this kid named alex from church was gonna be the love of my life and be the father of my child <laughs> we make it sound like that um yeah we had known each other from middle school years and it's been a really long time about 10 years and so we started dating we got married and now we're together forever forever ever and honey if you're watching this i love you so much <laughs> I hope you like this and I hope you guys like this if you do please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below be like I like your cartoons because you're the best drawer person ever and these voiceovers are on point <laughs> but if you really did um, just let me know um, I had fun doing this it was my first time doing something like this uh, but I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys really enjoyed our story if you guys would like to hear our lives before we met each other now that's an adventure <laughs> let us know and I know that the rest of this video is like a super cute montage of Nilo so stick around until the end of the video and thank you for supporting us we love you we're almost at 350 subscribers yay montage time Never, ever, ever does this. Hi, we're watching Little Einsteins. Okay.